Hey guys, this is Bruce. Welcome to Convo Courses. I just wanted to do a quick live where I talked about somebody's specific questions. If you're interested in deep diving into cybersecurity compliance, GRC type work, make sure you follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, anywhere where there's social media, there's a Convo Courses. And I've got tons of content out there, but you can also go to the, this website right here, convocourses.com or convocourses.net. We can get where you can get a whole bunch of discounts on books, on courses, including free stuff out there. Without further ado, let's get into this. I had a question, um, actually several questions kind of wrapped up in one. They said, if you if if somebody joined the U.S. Air Force um, and they wanted to get a cybersecurity job and then transfer transition into the civilian world world what cybersecurity job should they go for will will you go for a cybersecurity job um okay and i it's like i think they type really fast or something like that it's i'm trying to piece together what they mean here then the other thing they said is uh what should i do advise me as someone who wants to go join the air force for a cybersecurity job but is confused and they're trying to get into uh, confused on if they should do cyber surety, which is information assurance and risk management framework or cyber system ops system admin. I mean, um, confusion comes from planning which job will ensure a good transition uh, to the civilian world and high paying after four years and getting out of the air force okay so let's take a look so it's been a while since i've actually been in the military i was in the military many damn it's almost 20 years ago it's, no it's 20 years ago now wow holy shit, that's crazy damn that's wild man time flies i was a 3cox1 when i was in the military it was very different and we were basically computer operators which means we worked on the network, we worked on system admin work, we worked in, it was, it's a very broad field at the time where they would just kind of put you where they needed you. And now that's since changed a couple times since I've been out. It's been 20 years since I've been out. So now it looks like this. Um, actually, let me show my screen. Um, it now looks like this. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. There you go. So it's gone from 3COX1, AFSC, 3COX1, to 3D, to 1D. So now, so, man, the Air Force changes a lot, man. That's one thing about the Air Force. They change a lot. The Army doesn't change as much, and neither do the Marines, but the, the Air Force is constantly changing stuff. Anyway, so let me make this even bigger. So here's what we're looking at here. He's asking about these items here. And if I'm not mistaken, these are cyber surety. Let me see if this is cyber surety. Let me see. Cyber surety AFSC. Um, yeah, it's, it's 3DOX3 is cyber surety. So this is risk management framework. This is the kind of stuff that I actually teach. But they have different breakdowns from the 3DOX series. So let's look at that. All right. So 3C, oh, 3, 1D, it's one of these. It's one of these, I think. Wait a minute. Oh, it's different, isn't it? 3DOX3. I don't know if they changed this recently. The Air Force changes this stuff so often that I'm not even sure, man. I don't even know how recent this is. I don't know if this is a completely different career field it looks like it is specialty routinely requires work in the network environment for awards related to 3d o okay so it looks like they're changing it based on these last three digits right here i'm probably not the right person to ask for this i've been out of the air force too long but I could just based off of this right here, if I was going off of this, I'd say there's a couple here that you should look at. And I would I would say. Uh, let me show you here. Probably if you want to remain technical. 
you'd want to do system operations, security operations, network system operations. Um, yeah, okay, I see what they did here. So 3D, 3D recently changed to 1D. All right, man, so confusing. Air Force just changes stuff so often. All right, so yeah, so I would say these ones right here, 1D7 system operations, 1D7, uh, 1D is security operations. These two right here would be good. So if we want to be a software engineer, dev operations, this one right here, um, client system operations. Now, what is this? I don't know what this one is. I think this is help desk. This might be help desk. So it looks like what they did was break all of these up. So when when I was in, they had us doing all this stuff. <laughs> you would <laughs> you would come in as a three CLX one, and you would do this, this, everything but software. Everything else you would do, like it just depended on what job they put you in. But now they've kind of broken it up. So let me see. Okay, so here let me break this down. So for the civilian world, system operations, I think this would be a system administrator. So if you want to do system administrator work, that's where you're going to. Security operator, I think this is the cybersecurity stuff. Yeah, yep, see, one for one swap right there. Cybersecurity, this is like the stuff I do. This is GRC type stuff, which is which is really good on the outside. You know, when you get out, you would, you would know a lot here on this one. And then... Another one would be software engineer if you wanted to do that one. Uh, client systems, I think this is help desk. Network system operations, this is definitely network engineering stuff on the outside. And then I don't really have an equivalent. I don't really know what this would be on the outside. The ones you probably want to avoid, I'd say, I mean, not really. There, I'm sure there's jobs for it. I just don't know what they are, so I'll just stay away from it. But RF transmission operator. I knew some guys who did this, and they just don't have a lot of jobs for this on the outside. They have them, but there's not as many as the ones I just named. S Spectrum operations, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. Um, cable and antenna operators, I also don't know what this one is. It sounds like the guys who lay the cables. So I don't, I would say, okay, the ones you want to do would be network systems or client systems, that's help desk, or security operations, or system operations those would be the ones that i would recommend you do the other ones these are kind of like i want to say these are like help like these are management type positions these ones up here knowledge operations i wouldn't do that one um so that's what i would recommend but it depends on what you want to do you know like it really depends if you want to go into networking if you want what is the hottest one right now um, the ones I just named, any one of the ones I just named is going to get you a pretty good job. Um, help desk is kind of going to be on the lower end unless you're the manager of the help desk or you're a supervisor type role. But the great thing about help desk, which is client systems operations, is that you're going to get to touch many different things. And it's more you touch you talking to customers more. So you get that kind of experience. The highest paid ones is going to be out of the network systems operations. Possibly software, in, uh, DevOps, security operations for sure will be on that list, and system operations will be on that list. And out of those three, I would recommend security operations, uh, security operators, or network systems. And I really don't know. I secure. Okay, it would be system, security, and network. That's the ones I would, one of those. Let's just keep it simple. It'd be one of those for me. Because I know those. I know those pay well. I don't really know about software development. I don't know what the market looks like. That's not my wheelhouse. That Those will be the ones that I would suggest that you do. Those are the ones that I've had great success with. I know that those are all six-figure type jobs if, with a certain amount of experience. And so, yeah, that's that's would be my advice. But, you know, any one of those you can, even if, here, put it to you this way. Even if you got in and you were on the help desk and you were in client systems operations, or you were in knowledge operations, that 1K or one of the other ones, you could, in the Air Force, you could still, um, on your own, do labs, on your own, get, do a degree on your own, get a certification, 
you know, you could still be doing that stuff on the side. But if you actually did it in the Air Force, by the time you got out, you could just transition very easily into a high paying job if you were had been doing it for that whole four years that you were in. So um, good luck to you. Um, congrats. That's actually any one of these is actually a good career path. So um, it's I could see why they kind of broke those up rather than kind of lumping people together. But that's it, guys. I will see you guys on the next one.